News Channel East Lenny Sue Paul is joining us live from that scene tonight. Lenny, uh, many of these people are in shock, obviously, and there have been several fatalities. What else have you learned about this? Good evening, Keith and Jen. Well, what we're learning right now is that fire crews are trying to see if there are any additional victims and if there were other people on board the plane in addition to the pilot. So they are starting that slow and careful process of combing through the wreckage to see if there's any additional victims. And they're also on site monitoring hot spots to keep the fire from reigniting. They say that this is a really big challenge, one of the biggest issues that they're up against is maintaining the integrity of the crash so investigators can pinpoint exactly what caused the single engine plane to come down and we spoke to many neighbors out here they are rattled by what happened they say they are familiar with planes flying overhead all the time but the sound they heard tonight was different one person describing it as a thud that was so intense that it rattled their home and the ground below making it clear that danger was near and i heard a large pop and then the explosion and then the fire and then all the neighbors that were around said call 911 everybody get out and we all started running towards the fire the house was just engulfed in flames, um, stuff was popping, um, the, their neighbors were coming out, um, was trying to get everybody away from the house, um, but, you know, they were scared, they wanted to know if anybody was in the house. So at this point, the NTSB will take over the investigation to pinpoint exactly what caused this plane to crash into a mobile home. Again, the fire so intense that it quickly spread to three other mobile homes and we will continue to keep you updated with the very latest developments. Reporting live in Clearwater, Lenny Supal, 8 on your side. Okay, again, this was a, a Beechcraft Bonanza. I think they have about six seats max on board. So I guess the question, Lenny, is... Uh, they believe that the pilot for sure was involved and, and killed here, but they just don't know how many people were on the plane. So we can't say that several people on the ground were, were killed. We just don't know that yet, correct? It's more about who was on the plane. Correct. All we know from the fire chief and the police chief is that there were several fatalities that they were visually able to identify. So at this point, it's unclear as to how many people died in this crash. All right. And on the ground as well. All right. A lot to uncover here. The FAA uh, will begin their investigation, a developing story, obviously, and we'll bring you updates on air. as.